Hello everyone, this is Tizzy. Um A few people have been asking um, uh, for me to make a video tutorial on quite an old program. Uh, Easy Static Graph Converter version 1.0a. To get that you can just google my name Tizzy T. And go to my archive. And it was made in 2012. So you can go to the right, click on 2012, and that's the last thing I made in 2012. So, you want to click on that, uh, you want to get the new version, that's what I have here, the version 1.0a. That's everything you need basically, just down, click on that, download it, and yeah. Uh, next, you need the image that you want to turn into a cold boot. I got this right here. This is what I found. I, I to show people what I googled. I actually just googled anime renders, and it was like one of the first few ones. So, all right. Um, there's an easy way. What you can do is uh, you can drag and drop the image all over the uh, application, and it'll just make the code boot in the background and make a new folder. There it is. Uh, it'll have a preview and a codeboot.raf file. The preview is just an image so that you can see what the generated codeboot looks like. Um, the codeboot.raf is the actual file that you want. That's the actual file that will be replacing your default uh, codeboot. Uh, this is what you want to put in the PS3. Um, by default, uh, well you can't change it. I didn't make it so that you can change it. Uh, what it does is if you if you drag and drop the image over the application is it centers the image and does no resizing whatsoever so what you see is here is exactly what you get so let's delete this now the other way to run the program is run it normally like you would any other program select the image that you want to use uh, it'll show you the name of the image up there you click on show preview uh, I guess you can call it real time. It updates as you make changes to changes. So right now, none means uh, in your th these areas are basically have a resize and a position area. Uh, resize, based as you just saw, it resizes the original image inside of the uh, inside of the screen essentially. Stretch basically uh, stretches the the original image bounds to the screen images bounds. So it'll go both uh, max on uh, height and width. So that's what you get. There's distortion because the original image aspect ratio isn't the same as the screen's aspect ratio, which is 16 by 9, 1920 by 1280. I mean 1080. Uh, zoom is it uh, stretches the image um, proportionally until the image's bounds touches the screen's bounds. So if the the top and bottom bounds touches the screen first it'll stop if the left and right bounds touch the screen first it'll stop uh, so it's basically the outer bounds if the outer bounds of the original image touch the screen it will stop resizing basically that, that's that's the max that's how that's that's how it knows so fill uh, is the opposite it's kind of different it's takes the inner bounds so basically the second bounds that will be uh, met on the screen. Custom is if you wanna, if you want a custom resolution, do some funky stuff, you know. I don't know. No, you want to warp her anywhere you want. I don't know. It's up to you. Um, position. It's um, every every button here. Every uh, button is uh, it correlates to the actual image, as you can see. Center, center, top right, bottom right, stuff like that. And if you want to fine tune and actually by pixel, you know, position her somewhere uh, or position your image, should I say, not her? Uh, you would use this. See, you can push it, position. The original image uh, anywhere you want so I'm gonna do center no 
her legs are cut off, so I'm gonna, yeah, there we go, that looks better. Uh, nobody wants a ghost or a girl with a chopped off leg as a boot screen, at least I wouldn't. So after that, you select all your options. The best of my output is if uh, you want to if you want the program to output the final files in that folder basically that folder where if you want to put it somewhere else as an output like say you want to put on your desktop you would check that uh, base, uh, if you don't care and you want it uh, to generate the folder where the image original image was like how you how the other one was where you drag and drop the image over the application you would just go ahead and just click convert you wait a little bit it'll say done when it's done All right, like 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 before, do a preview. That's what it looks like once once it's on your screen, on your history, and this this is the file that you want. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope this helped people, especially the people who requested uh, I make a video.